you know, it's really important that these dogs stay where we need them to be. And the LoRa trackers help us do that and provide us that up-to-date information constantly that we need to have. My name is Bill Costanzo. I'm a Livestock Guardian Dog Program Specialist at the AgriLife Center in, in San Angelo, Texas. So my center specializes in sheep and goat production. Sheep and goat producers are constantly at threat from predators, a lot more so than, than cattle. And so one of the ways that they, they help control predators is using Livestock Guardian Dogs. So we, we take eight-week-old pups, we, we bond them, train them with livestock, and then they go out to cooperating producers. And so we need to be able to track the dog's behavior patterns and the LoRa trackers help us do that and provide us that up-to-date information constantly that we need to have. So there's one on the dog. You can see the one on the, the lamb in the back back there. There's another picture of a dog over there in the trailer that's got one on. Actually, both of those dogs have got them on. So, I mean, they, they look big, you know, on the dog, but they don't weigh hardly anything. Tommy, I, I'd love to hear a, a little bit from your end of like how this partnership came even to be in the first place. Uh, well, Bill came to us because he had been using trackers. You know, they tried all the cellular, tried the the satellite, came to us and, and we basically turned around and said, you know, let's give this a shot. So we went out, made a trip over to West Texas and uh, deployed our, our first system, which looks similar to this. So everything's going through our LNS and open LNS setup. When Bill finishes his bonding with the dogs and training with the dogs, and they move on to a producer or to a ranch. Mm -hmm. So now the collar and the tracker that Bill has on the dog while it's at one of Bill's uh, research facilities, when he transports that dog to the rancher's facility, it's going to connect to that lower WAN network. It's going to, mm. to start operating. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. I, I guess my, my question though is, you know, how do you see solutions like these scaling? We've been pretty heavy in cattle and cattle tracking. We've got our cattle ear tag here, solar powered, but Price is the other thing that I mentioned, which is, is pretty critical to these producers. So we've got an extremely low cost version, which is all based on Bluetooth. And then what we do is we take the Bluetooth data uh, whenever an animal gets near a gateway. And essentially we'll know that this animal was near the water. So we can assume it drank while maybe another animal out there uh, was not you know, never got near one of these watering tanks. So there could be a health issue, something going on. If uh, if folks want to learn more about your projects, uh, where can we point them? Where should they go read up a little more? Yeah, so they, they can go to the San Angelo AgriLife Center and there's a whole livestock guardian dog page there that, that has all kinds of information, GPS tracker fact sheets, just information about the dogs themselves. We've got a Facebook page, Instagram, um, the YouTube channel. All, all that stuff is under Texas A&M AgriLife LGD program.